Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, I know, since I've uploaded a video, but as you all know, we're in this lockdown situation. So why not do a video now? So what we're gonna do today, what I'm gonna do today, is a full set of acrylic nails. Now, this is something that we all do on a regular basis anyway, like once a month or something, or once every couple of weeks to get infills. And just because we're in lockdown, we don't mean we can't still be glam. So, I've never done this before, and I'm gonna give it a go today. You and I are gonna do this, we're gonna do this. If I can do it, you lot can do it. So, most of the stuff I've got here, I wanna go through with you, where I got it from. But before I do that, let me just apologize for the setting because I'm in a room where I need a lot of ventilation and I've got access to the back doors right there so I can just open the door get some fresh air flowing through because this acrylic thing is potent and ain't not each other get high around here not on that anyway so let's get into it firstly the acrylic set that I purchased off an online retailer store well you all know it's probably Amazon basically you get I think it was a set of hundred a hundred clear acrylic nails I don't know if you can see that all the different sizes so you get a set of acrylic nails you get the buffer and you get a nail file quite coarse you get three acrylic powders I haven't even opened them to be honest let me check it Oh, oh, that's a bit messy. Right, so we've got one that looks a bit white. Oh, that's going to move my hand now. Tap it down. One that looks... How come this one's got a little on it? That looks a bit white as well. I don't know, I'm sure there's different shapes. Mm. Messy stuff, guys. And the final of, oh my gosh, why is it all coming out? Have I been scammed? Like, why is it all white? Or is it the light? Okay, I'm gonna look into that closely. They look all white. But two have like a black label, the other one has a white one, so. Anyway, I digress. You get three acrylic powders. You can hear that sandy stuff. So look, it's all over my hands. Open a little. You get the liquid that you use to apply the acrylic. You get the primer that goes on your fingernail. You get the glue. You get this little glass thing bowl thing that you can just pour the liquid into and you also get a brush now what i noticed with this brush it's very small very fine very pointy it will get the job done but you might be there a while so i thought ahead and decided you know what you know when you go to the nail shops they have the thicker brushes so I thought, let me look online and get some more brushes. So I picked up another set of brushes. That's just my focus. You see that? So you, they're ranging in different sizes and it has the firmness that you need and it's like the heads are full enough to cover the whole nail. Especially if you've got like wider larger nail beds like myself so i think i'll be using this one rather than the brush that came with the set so that's what you get you get everything to do the acrylic nails and this is what i ordered originally and i thought you let you monkey like i need polish and i don't have polish i don't i'm not a person to buy polish like i said i always get my nails done i've been doing it for years so I thought why not just go all out because this is a little investment piece we can do our nails consistently and constantly and 
do our little infills as well. So I went ahead and purchased the gel polish, some gel polish, so you get six colours in there. And it's up to you because there's like different ranges that you can choose from online. But it doesn't actually, and it says nine toxin free gel, no harm to skin, and it has low smell. So there's six polishes in there. And then I purchased this one separate because it doesn't actually come with the nail polish set. So you have to get the base coat and the top coat. Sorry about that. And then I got some hydrating cuticle oil. Oh yeah, also, most importantly as well, the nail cutters, I purchased that separate. So I've got that. And yeah, I didn't actually know there was nail files in the, well, that you get a buffer and the nail file in the set. So I did actually purchase my own. And you get a range of different, let's take that out. A range of different shapes and sizes and it tells you what they're for for the edges and whatnot so yeah let's try and do that properly yes yeah, so you get one two three four five six in the box that i purchased and it is that. so there's the nail files and also an LED nail dryer. So you can get UV or LED, it's up to you what your preference is. I just so happened to, no special reason, I just chose an LED one because I think it's one of the most popular ones there when it had good ratings. So, oh, that's the LED nail dryer. Put it down and it fits your whole hand in there. And it comes with the plug and again another little tool that I purchased but I didn't get it online I've had this for a little while um, this is to push your cuticles back because the most I've ever done guys is just paint my nails cut them push my cuticles back that's all so that's what this little tool does and it works very well also what I've had for a little while is this drill and i think i purchased this over a year ago now so it's not even focusing over it right so i've had this over a year ago so i'm hoping this is going to do the trick it's quite powerful and i got this in lidl audis i always get confused because i don't know which one's which lidl's audis so that's it that's all we need to do our nails Put them on, file them, cut them, colour them, dry them, we're good to go. So guys, I'm just going to check out these powders without the light on it, because maybe the light's kind of distorting the colour and I can't actually see what colours they are. Clean my hands up, set up my little station, and I'm going to come back to you and we're going to get started with this nail set. <sighs> I feel like this might take a little while. I'm confident, I'm confident I can do it, because I'm a bit of a perfectionist like that, so... I feel like I can do it. So I'm just going to arrange my little setup as they do in the shops, looking all professional, and I'm coming back. So make sure you go and get yourself cosy, get a little drink, because we might be here for a little while, but otherwise I might do a little fast forward, but I'll be back in a minute, guys. Can you see this? Can you turn off the light, because I don't know if you can see it properly. Hold on. Wait a second. Oh, that might be too dark. Right, so there, I buffed them, pushed back the cuticles. Now, we're ready to put on the nails. So when you get the glue, obviously it comes with, well, when you take off the lid, you have to snip the top bit off. Get your first nail. And they've got a little line in it, so you can kind of see. So you just put the glue at the bottom. Did I cut enough off? 
Get good again. Uh, hello. Okay, let me get some of I think I need to cut some hair. One moment. That should do it, that should do it. Right, let's see. Have we got blue? Have we got blue? Don't think the blue's riding the blue though. I can hear it in there, where is it? Oh come on, where's the blue? What can I do? Look at this. Well, I'm, well, I'm not seeing a hole, I'm not even seeing a hole. Let me go and cut it again, hold on. I'm not playing, if this don't work, I won't be upset. Look what happens when you do it right. Is that blue? Is that blue, people? Is that blue? Okay. And make sure you get it straight, guys. This ain't no play play thing. Get your nails straight. Hold it on for a few seconds. And also, make sure that when you're fitting the nails, when you're trying them on to your, your nail beds, to the shape of your nail, I'm not trying to technical them. Yeah, make sure it literally goes from side to side because otherwise, if there's room for any water and things like that to get underneath it, your, nail, your nails aren't gonna last that long. So yeah, make sure you get them exact. And even if it's like overlapping a little bit, you could just file it down. I sound like a professional, isn't it? I sound like a professional. I'm not okay. So the next one, that one's done. Scary because I feel like it's going to do our quick so blue lid back on because I think you're going to have to go half way now. Sorry for making faces because, like, you know, them, them concentration face, like, just concentrate. numbers on them so just in case you kind of like say they fall on the floor and you get them mixed up good luck with that button yeah you can just rearrange them by the little numbers that's on the tips And the thumb. Thank you. 
And when you're excited about something, you're just gonna dance. Just wanna dance, boy. I'm talking to my daughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is my own. I don't know if I just said this already. Obviously, if the nail is slightly too big and it's overlapping, just clip it with the nail clippers. But these are alright. Alright, they're alright. So that's one set done. So what we need to do now is put primer. So you put the primer on just your nail. I believe. Just your nail. And I think, I don't know what this is for, I think it just... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think this just helps um, with it. Yeah. And just things as you know, you can just do it yourself, you just get time and just get it neat and do it. Oh, that's the primer done. That's how we look in. That's how we look in. Now we're gonna get to the good part. <laughs> Stop being cute. Oh my gosh, scared, right? I'm using my other hand. So I pulled out my liquid into the little glass thing the jig and I've got the powder. Yeah. Two of them look white and this one is got pinky kind of look. So I'm going for the pink. So here goes, here goes. Oh no, 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 getting too excited. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Wait, hold up. What I need to do is just file down the, the nail bit. You know the nail that you put on your nail? The nail that you put on your nail, you know what I mean? Just file it down. Again, you could either use the hand file Or you can use the drill. Just so you haven't got that ridge, that jaggedy edge. I want to do half and half because I want to see which one comes out better, like which one I actually prefer. How are you guys? How are you? How are you coping with this little situation the we're in? If you're at home and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, mm -hmm, I hope you are. How are you coping? Because to me, I'm more of a homebody anyway. I'm fine with the situation with this little lockdown, and I've got my lovely babies. I say babies; they're not babies, babies, where they're happy. I have my lovely boo boos to keep me. You know, sometimes we say, oh, they're stressing you out. Like for those of you who do have children, you know, 
but I feel like if they wasn't here with me, I don't know, might be going slightly out of my mind. It's just bored, but they, they literally do keep me busy. Like, I don't have time to really be bored, you've got to still wash clothes. Granted, not as frequent, but you still wash clothes, still wash dishes, still got cooked food. In fact, I feel like I should just put a chair at the sink and the cooker because that's where I live, literally. Any room that has a TV and they take it over. So, yeah. But, yeah, let me know. I'd like to read some comments, guys, about what you're doing to kind of keep yourself occupied, keep your sanity. You know, because it's, it's good to talk on a serious level. Okay, two jam. All right, let me see if the drill's a bit quicker. Let's see. The thing is just figuring it out, which drill bit is, does what job, because it's, it's a guessing game. So let's have a look. Okay. I feel like to be fair, the drill could be quicker. Mm. Well, yeah, maybe. I just did what I said, I kept it on one point a little bit too long, so I felt a little, I felt a little heat. But remember, keep it moving, keep it moving. Right, and just to know if you've like filed it down enough, you can just kind of rub it with your finger just to see if you feel the edge. And also you will see the line as well, like where the dust kind of gets kind of trapped under it. So once that line is gone, you know it's done. Oh my gosh, I just remembered, I'm remembering what I'm supposed to be doing, like, so I got too eager, I was ready to use the acrylic, I was ready, but I'm not, because obviously, if I'm going to do the coffin shape, I need to, like, clip the nails, because I think, you can do it after, but I think it's easier to do it now, like, to shape them from now. Right, but let me just because I'm not professional with the drill. So yeah, that's done. Yep, because I can't feel any little kinks. Ooh, nearly got the drill. Ain't got time for it. So I'm gonna go with my nail clipper that I've had since a long time. And we're gonna try. Oh no, what if this goes? Ooh, if we do this. Okay, no. 
I really don't want to do it instead. Right, I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to cut them down first. I feel like that's a bit too long. Like, it's a bit too long. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, I love it. And now we're going to shape them like the coffee shape. So we get your nail clippers. See my nail clippers there. Take your time in there, like make sure you get the shape. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, that's about the best. It's actually coffee and coffee, but it, 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 will be, it will be there. I just need to like straighten it up a little. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm so there. I'm so there. I'm so there. Oh, hold on. Get myself in the place. I can test out the fire of the wall actually. Because I might be using the one that feels pretty coarse edge. It's also edge on it. Should be nice. Yeah, that's I don't think that's too soon. Okay, that's fine. And this is trial and error, guys. Trial and error. So if you don't feel like you got the right um, fire, try a different one. And I think shaping them from now just gives you a little something, a little shape to work with, rather than when you've got all the acrylic on it. You don't want to put too much acrylic on it. Like, now I've done that second, that last um, layer on all of them, it's a bit better. Like, so, I'm going to let that dry. Oh, what am I doing? I'm hungry. Like, can you see? Again, I'll turn off the lights. <coughs> You see that? Mm -hmm. And size. Mm -hmm. That's still, but remember when you just like, even if they are a little bit lumpy, bumpy, once you drilled it or filed it, it's a little point, man. You just, it's okay. 
So I'm quite happy with that. And obviously you've just got to neaten up the shape again because once where you put the acrylic on, it's kind of um, deformed the shape a little bit. Well, it's not too bad. I'm not mad at it. I think because once I put the colour on as well, who's going to know the state of the acrylic underneath? Like, you're not going to know. From the shape is there, the acrylic's are staying on because it's done, more or less. It's just not that neat, but it's done. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry about that. So, who's going to know? So, it's quite dry. Now, while I'm drying, do I stick the other hand? Let me do the other one. Where's my glue? We learn from our mistakes. What do we do, Mush? We learn from our mistakes. Don't we? So it will give this a chance, give the other hand a chance to dry while I am putting this one on. It definitely is worth taking an hour out beforehand because it makes things so much easier. So where I made the mistake on the other hand, like not washing my hands before I put the thumbs on, I'm going to do that with this hand to see if there is a bit of a difference. And the last one on the bottom. I'm recording, Bubba. I'm recording. Pardon? Yeah.
this on and put the glue back on the glue. You know where they need you. Oh, here's the fluffy cup. And now I'm gonna cut down at the shape. Not the nip. What's that thing they do? I think. Yeah. Sounds dramatic. But we're gonna cut down the other hand first. You don't really need to measure it up because you, you know you know where how long you want your nails for how long. Oh, that fell out my right hand, so I'm gonna do it with. What if that drill bit is quicker? Let's put it on high. Then do this. I'm going to wash my hands and do the other side. Guys, I want to come back on the other hand this time and do a flex. I don't think you need that much of the bit of it. It's quite thick. Hmm. You know, almost tempted to just. One of each color on the nose. Ooh, the big old dragonfly thing or mosquito thing on the window. Don't get that bad. What's outside though? Yeah. Over on over the barbecue. So 
I'm going to do when this is finished, I'm going to show you this hand. Clearly, the only thing left is to put the top coat on it and just some cuticle oil. So, let me just try this one more time. Once I do this hand, I'm going to go off camera and do the other hand. And then I will come back to you with the end product. This is not bad, not bad. For my first day, I'm quite happy and impressed. And obviously for those who like to go more, you can clearly go longer. I just, this is just the right length for me. I think the longer they are, then the more likely they are to break with me, personally, because I'll just be banging them in the day for. But you never know. You don't know until you try it. So this is the first time I'm using it. Let's see if it does the job. 15 seconds. And just in case you're worried as well, sometimes it does apparently. I don't know, I'm not an expert. Might feel a bit tacky when you take it out, but what's once you've kind of put the top coat on and rub it all around, it's probably cured. Oh, it seems like it. Okay, okay. So, this is what we look like. Again, I might have to turn off my light because I'm just turn off the green light. I don't know if you can see. It's a bit thin because you can just kind of see through it. But it's not really the greatest light. Uh -uh. Okay. What are we looking at? So I haven't done too bad though. Look at this gold. It's just giving me all kinds of vibes. It's just lovely. Love it. Okay, don't wash the dry hands clearly. The dry because I have to wash them. So yeah, I'm gonna come back to you with the finished. Yes. And finally, it's done. So all I did was paint them. To be honest, I think I could have given it another coat. Um. And once they've been cured in the LED nail dryer, I wiped it. It does feel tacky and then you feel like, oh, it's not dry properly, but apparently this is just a sticky layer. I can't remember what it's called. That's on top. So you just take an alcohol wipe with some lint-free paper or something like that, and you just wipe over the nails to take off the tackiness. And then you add some oil and voila. Not bad. I'm quite happy with those. But a first try, obviously I forgot to put the glitter on the other one. I got a bit carried away. So, yeah. Guys, not bad, not bad. I am quite happy with that. So if I can do it, you can do it. It took a while. It took a while. It took a good couple of hours, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, this is not something you do when you're in a hurry, go somewhere, take your time, 
do it properly and then you've got your nails your nails are done they're going to last you for a little while until you just need to do your infill experiment with the colors and i'm quite happy with the colors that i chose they're more nude to white so i can do like um french polish kind of look and do my toes and stuff so oh yeah we've got a dark like a, i love these colors like a maroon you can kind of see it from the mid like a maroon kind of color well yeah first go i'm impressed i will invest in some more nail polishes already my sister's telling me her friend wants her nails done sorry what you want like a nail tech but um i don't know i would do it but because of the situation that we're in i'm not ready to whisk it for a biscuit right about now i just like don't want no one stepping into my hour i say hour mine and the kids our little um sanctuary here so yeah done happy 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 so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and um like comment subscribe and i'll see you for the next one hopefully it won't be too long because you know we're in lockdown girls gotta find something to do so yeah thanks for watching guys